guys i don't remember how to do my makeup like i'm just looking in the mirror i'm looking at the time and i'm so stressed like i'm just gonna say right off the bat that i'm a bit sick or like i'm in between healthy and sick right now i don't know anyways if i sound a bit congested just know because i don't feel so good right now but anyways today's video is going to be a little bit different i'm going to be doing a get ready with me i've never done a video like this on my channel before so i'm very confused but also excited to try something new so i know these get ready with me is like you have to kind of talk and do your makeup at the same time which i don't know if my brain can handle that but i'm gonna try basically what i'm getting ready for okay so so basically my school is having a black students association at my school is having a high school conference for black students i basically got invited to be a panelist and the way it happened was so crazy the other day I was just chilling. I got a message on Instagram from one of the BSA execs. Calls me like, oh, the BSA is having this conference and they're looking for one more undergraduate panelist. And she was wondering if I would want to be part or if I know anyone that would be a good fit for the role. I basically just have to talk about my experience being a black girl in engineering, blah, blah, blah. There's an honorarium given to all the people that are participating afterwards. I immediately said yes, because it just sounded like a good opportunity, but I didn't even know what I was actually signing up for, you know? So then I go to their, their page to go like find out more about this event even though i already said yes i find out that it's like a proper thing that you're supposed to basically apply to be a panelist and like fill in like a google form and all that and just basically like put yourself up for consideration and i didn't even know this event was happening i didn't you know apply and obviously i felt very honored i was like very you know I feel like just doing small things like this in the black community on my school is always nice i just thought it was really cool that i didn't even i wasn't looking for this opportunity and this opportunity has found me you know god is just too good to me like it's not like i had anything to do today it's not like i had any other plans i was probably just gonna stay in bed watch the bear like i had nothing on my plan it's a conference so i'm guessing it's like serious vibes you know so i picked out an outfit yesterday the event starts at 1 10 but they said we should arrive 15 minutes before that so like 12 50 ish i'm trying to leave home at like 12 30 it's 11 40 right now i've been really enjoying my skin lately my skin has been suspiciously clear i think i've just finally stopped dealing with acne which if you know me personally you know that that is, that's, that's big because i've been struggling with acne since i turned 13 so be turning 20 soon and not having to struggle with acne anymore i think is either a sign of old age or a blessing so i just wanted to kind of update you guys give you guys the tea on what's been going on my last video was just like midterm studying school project like so much has happened since then you know i finished second year of uni which has been so crazy to think about like the fact that i'm actually done with my second year because where has the time actually gone it's crazy finished second year moved into the new apartment that's where i'm filming this video in this is my personal bathroom in this apartment which i think is so cool so i'm also doing summer school today is monday summer school actually starts today i think i don't have any class today i do have class tomorrow though which is crazy guys i don't remember how to do my makeup like i'm just looking in the mirror i'm looking at the time and i'm so stressed like i'm gonna use shine and jam to do my eyebrows this is crazy i'm probably gonna break out but yeah finished second year passed all my classes and my program if you know anything about my program i'm in the engineering science program at u of t the first two years are basically just very all over the place and then in your third year you specify you go into like your desired major mine is biomedical systems engineering it's what i've wanted to study and i haven't really done much in my field since coming into uni it's just been a lot of like generic classes and honestly some classes that i just don't necessarily need to take but you know that's just the way the program is structured so i think finishing first and second year bench side and finally getting into my major and just like being able to take classes about what I actually you know I'm giving this institution my money to study it's definitely an accomplishment because the first two years of insight are definitely very insane like very character building very it's very crazy and I think anyone that survives the first two years of insight should be proud of themselves so I am very very proud of myself I don't think anyone understands the pride that I have but that also means if you guys watch my study vlogs you know me and Lulu are tied at the hip like you see me you see her you see her you see me and it's so sad because we're going to our majors and I'm going into biomedical system she's going into aerospace so we're actually not going to have all the same classes and like the exact same schedule anymore which is kind of sad every single day with her throughout second year i spent with lulu so that's okay because we still have a couple classes together the class i'm taking this summer is an elective so it's nothing serious nothing i'm really like worried about per se i think that class is gonna go fine it's probably just not gonna be as stressful as any of my end classes which is honestly the criteria for a class to be easy for me this summer i'm just trying to just enjoy myself i think i just deeped how wrong university summer is especially in canada because most of us finish finals like in april and then don't start 
the next school year till September. So May for me, I'm just trying to just chill. But while I'm still trying to figure out like what I can do with my time this summer to make some money, I'm trying to find like little things I can do to make money. Like for example, the thing I'm doing today, the panel, I'm literally getting getting money from that. I have a couple YouTube sponsorships coming up as well. My friend is having an event on Friday and I'm helping like pictures and videos and just media in general. And I'm also getting paid. I've really been trying to just take care of myself. I think second year really preyed on my mental health especially towards the end i just was not feeling good about life so i think i'm just trying to take the time to just relax and just give myself a moment i've even been kind of slow with editing my videos for youtube because i just i want them to be good and i don't feel very inspired so I'm not going to lagos this summer for the first time in kind of sad because you know i miss my family and i just love being at home and just chilling and just being taken care of and not having to worry about myself too much you know i really want to do a lot of content creation this summer i'm trying to really grow on youtube oh my god guys how can i forget yeah um we recently just hit 8k on youtube we literally hit 8k the day i moved in that was may 1st and i was so happy but i was just like i had like a very underwhelming reaction because i was really stressed and busy that day so i didn't really care i wasn't even thinking about youtube when we actually hit 8k which was really funny but anyways we have come such a long Way. People who have been here from the beginning know, they know how hard it has been to stay motivated, how hard it was when I was making videos when I was in boarding school in Lagos and I couldn't even have access to my camera or my phone or anything like celebrating small growth. I have a video, I think it's on private now on my channel from when I hit 1000 subscribers and that was like one of the most insane like milestones I've ever I was so proud I was so happy and I still am so proud you know how much growth and how much time and how much we've evolved how much my skills have evolved like I'm so much better at editing and, and I think with, with YouTube comparison is definitely the thief of joy because you know you see people who blow up overnight you see people who don't put in half of the effort and I think when you're actually involved in the process like the creation process you definitely can recognize effort like when I watch a video that's like really well edited I really appreciate the effort because I'm like I know what it takes to produce a video of this quality so I'm always like very very impressed you know it can be very demotivating it can be really hard to actually stay on track and like celebrate small successes and like be proud of yourself not be too hard on yourself the reason why those things don't affect me as much in my youtube journey is simply because i genuinely love doing this it makes me so happy especially when i make like very like creative videos or i like execute an idea that i had and it actually turns out good like i genuinely love doing this like it's so fun i feel like in another world if i wasn't like studying like stem going into like engineering and biomedical technology and stuff like that I definitely see myself doing something in just media in general because it generally just makes me so excited like in moments where I'm not growing as much or like I work really hard on the video that I expect to do really well and it doesn't do that well because the algorithm just doesn't really rate me like things like that don't affect me as much as you know they might the next person or simply because I generally just love this so whether this becomes a big thing and you know we hit even more milestones and we grow and you know have this as like a proper source of income at some point you know god willing when whether that happens or not, it's not something that I put too much pressure on myself about because at the end of the day, I'm in school. My parents are, you know, taking care of me and supporting me even here in Canada. And an investment, it's a lot of money, it's a lot of time. So I still have to focus on school. School is my priority. I'm still very ambitious about the things that I want to do. Before anything else, this is just a hobby. Fun, it excites me. I feel good when I do it. I feel proud, I feel inspired. I inspire other people. Some of the comments I've been getting on my videos lately, guys, like genuinely bringing me to tears. These are people that I don't even know from anywhere and they leave some comments on my videos and I'm just like so taken aback like making me genuinely emotional because I'm like it just it makes me feel very happy and very overwhelmed because I think something about doing YouTube and also having done it for so long I feel like I forget that I'm being perceived like I said I just hit 8,000 subscribers even though all 8,000 of them might not necessarily tune in and watch every single video just the simple fact that there's people who actually view and watch my videos and actually perceive me and you know have a perception of me based on what they watch that makes me so uncomfortable like even though i've been doing it for so long it makes me so uncomfortable that's why when i meet people in public and they come up to me and they're like oh my god i watch you on youtube i'm always like huh genuinely forget that you know i'm being perceived and that people are actually like watching me it's literally 12 right now i need to be out of the house in like 30 minutes so i'm gonna get on my zoom it's definitely hard it's definitely confusing but i'm very sure of myself and i'm very confident in myself and i always tell myself god's timing is the best timing you know maybe god doesn't want me to um 
blow up on YouTube or maybe there's a reason why he's keeping like he knows what he's doing he knows best and it's the only thing that brings me comfort in times of confusion lack of motivation because you kind of feel like sometimes you're pouring into an empty vessel it's really something that I struggle with especially as someone who started this journey so young and has been doing this for so young and while it's been like rewarding and something that I've learned and grown so much with it's still hard it's still very very hard but yeah guys been yapping for too long I need to get out of the bathroom and yeah guys we're just gonna keep on keeping on okay what's that thing they say never give up never back down or never back down never give anyways and the way I look different in this camera in this mirror and in this mirror it's really giving me dysmorphia because what do I actually look like what do I actually look like you know something I always wonder I always wonder like how I look from like the outside perspective like through the human eyes because I only see myself in reflections I see myself in pictures in my phone but I don't actually know how I look like the way I look at other people and perceive other people I don't know how they look at me and perceive me and see my face it's so crazy I wish I could like go into someone else's body for like a second and just perceive myself if that makes sense <laughs> but yeah Okay, I'm gonna go get setting spray for my roommate. I don't know why I just love guys. This blush is literally the most beautiful thing I have ever. Okay. Oh lord. 12.08. I need to be out of this house in like 20 30 minutes. Honestly, we should be fine. If the TTC is not sounding like a good option, I'll just Uber. It's not far, so hopefully it's be cheap. But I do need to be on time. I'm gonna go get some setting spray from my roommate because I don't have any and I refuse to buy it. I'm just gonna set my face, do my lips, put on my outfit, maybe put some mousse on this hair because it's giving bird's nest in here. But yeah, I feel good. I feel pretty. Let me just get my lip products out. I need to buy new Fenty Glow, like, I've literally went through two bottles of this and I never bought it myself, but I think this time I have to buy it myself, which is exactly the reason why I don't have it in stock in my makeup right now. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna get some setting spray and I'll be right back. Okay guys, got the goods. This lip liner is not working guys. It's making me very, very upset. <laughs> oh. Okay, it's definitely not the color I was going for, but you know what? It's gonna work. But this is the makeup look. A very natural, not a lot going on, which is honestly exactly what I wanted. Please tell me the Okay. Guys, I'm about to leave. I just wanted to show you my jewelry for rings. We have this and it just looks like that. It's like the thing is like hugging. I have this ring courtesy of my mother. <laughs> but yeah, really cute. Camera is blinking. I don't know why the camera wants to die when I literally charged it all night. I have this bracelet that my mom gave to me as a gift. It has a bunch of charms. Um, if I can get that closed, yes. Then I have these hoops. Every time I wear them, I regret wearing them. So, okay. That's fine. That works. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, guys, that's very, very cute. That's a very, very, very cute earring. Okay, perfume. This is just this. This is La Venture and Last Long. This is the outfit. Top from my mom's closet. Pants from my mom's closet. These boots are from like Hudson's Bay or something. This bag is thrifted. The outfit. Oh. I really like this blue. I think it looks amazing on my skin. Mom, if you're watching this, I'm never giving this back to you, unfortunately, so thank you so much. Yes, guys, this is the finished look. I really like the makeup. I love the outfit. This blue, I'm actually obsessed. I need to find out what color this is and get more clothes in this color because it's so elegant. Like, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. I'm gonna be on my YouTube grind this summer, okay? I'm gonna be pumping out content like it's my full-time job. So just stay tuned and stay ready. I'm coming. I'm coming. Just give me a second. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you guys so much. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Ooh, wow, guys. I don't know if you guys have seen beauty before, but this, this is a discovery, okay? <laughs>